It's that time again. Get ready for Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers 2. Welcome to Vicky Make Some Builds. Today is the day, yes. It's Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers 2. So firstly, if you are new to Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers, put simply, it's a speed puzzling battle between myself and Donna Louise over at For the Love of Puzzles, Juby over at Jigsaw Juby, Judy at Addicted to Puzzles, and Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles. And I'm excited today to battle against our guest YouTube puzzler, and that is Russell from Puzzling in Two Worlds. So not only have we changed things up a bit with the puzzlers roster for this battle, but we've also diversified in our puzzle choice. This time around, we're going to be building a 750 piece puzzle from Gallison. It's called Flora Heart and it is shaped. I'm a little nervous since it looks like it's going to be trickier than the 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle that we did last time, but I think it's going to be loads of fun and I really can't wait to see how everybody does. Uh, so an important note to make here and that is that we are asking if people could please avoid writing spoilers in any of our comments or in any of the live chats. None of us know each other's times, we haven't told each other, and we all are really looking forward to just finding out for ourselves as we watch the videos. So please no spoilers in the comments or in the live chats. And the final thing I have to say is that we would all love you to join in with the fun of Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers as well. I've linked in the description a Google form and all you need to do is just grab yourself a copy of the puzzle. Then once you've got your copy, you just build the puzzle, time yourself building it, take a note of your time, and then you just click the link in the description for the form or any of our descriptions, we'll all have it linked. And you put your name, the country you represent, the time it took you to build the puzzle in hours, minutes, and seconds. And you also need to note how many breaks you took that were five minutes or longer, if any. Now, when I say that, I mean, if you have to pause briefly to go to the bathroom or have a drink or, you know, have a, just a wee stretch of the back or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't count as a break. It's only if you're away from the puzzle for a longer period, five minutes or more, then that's when you need to make a note of the break. So you can have as many as you need to. Because this puzzle's a bit trickier and it's a bigger puzzle, we've all agreed that we're gonna allow these breaks. The form will close on the 30th of June and we'll reveal the results of that in early July. Right, I think that's everything. Let's see how I do. Bring it on. that was a totally different kettle of fish to the last time. I honestly had no expectations coming into this. I have never done a puzzle like it before, let alone speed run one like it. <laughs> I thought it would be hard and I was right about that. In fact, I think that's the first time I've ever got a sweat on while I've been puzzling. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really was. <laughs> I really was feeling the pressure towards the end there. But I honestly have no idea where my timings will come in the rankings on this one. And speaking of timings, I will give you my time just now. I managed to do this puzzle in four hours, 18 minutes and 49 seconds. I really don't know. Was that a good time? It, it felt like it took a long time, but then again, it's rare that I do four straight hours of speed puzzling or any puzzling for that matter so that does make sense and on that note i can reveal that i did not take any breaks longer than five minutes i took i paused the timer maybe about four times i think i had to stop to deal with my unruly children a couple of times which just happened to coincide with battery changes and things as well so i think i maybe took four brief pauses had a quick sip of my juice and stretched my back a bit because i did feel like i was kind of hunched over the puzzle for quite a long time and it was nice just to stand up and stretch but i didn't uh, stop the timer for any longer than five minutes so there were no breaks for me on this one which i'm pleased about i had i wanted to do it without taking any breaks if i could manage it what i can say for certain is that i enjoyed the puzzle if there was anything really in particular that threw me about it it was the the random cut of the puzzle i knew it was gonna be a bit random with it being shaped i sort of knew that going into it but it wasn't just the random cut it was also the fact that there wasn't really a straight edge it's not just like a a, a straight lined kind of heart it has bumps and things like that in it where the flowers stick out so sometimes i had you know, false edges and things like that, which threw me a little bit. And another thing which threw me as well, I, I did sort this puzzle. I knew I wanted to sort it and I'm glad I did do that. I don't regret my decision to use that strategy. However, the fact that there were rather large flowers of the same colour in different parts of the puzzle, so there's, there's like two quite large red ones and two quite large purple ones, you know, and other colours where it's more than one flower of a similar colour. That threw me because I didn't necessarily know which flower, which colour went into. And because I had them all laid out and face up, all the wacky shapes was kind of throwing me a bit. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, this puzzle was quite tough on my brain. <laughs> So I was quite tired at the end of it. I did love the challenge though, I really did. And looking at it now, it's just a beautiful puzzle. I mean, it really is lovely to look at. The flowers, the colours, the vividness of the image, and it's a lovely, lovely puzzle. I really, I really did enjoy the puzzle itself as well. So that is good. I don't have much else to say really, except that I really hope as many of you as possible can join in on the fun with us on this and get hold of this puzzle and speed run it alongside us. Don't forget about the form and you can fill that in with your time and everything. And you've still got until the 30th of June to do that. It's just so much fun getting as many people involved as we can and chatting with you all about it. So that'd be great if you could join in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and all of the other videos as well. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and to all of the other YouTube puzzling competitors as well. And speaking of the other contenders, let's now go see how Russell got on with the puzzle. See you next time. Bye.